I hope it doesn't bother you to travel alongside a Vint, Ironborn. That what you are. You people all kind of look the same to me. I'm also a mage. Would you prefer me bound and leashed? I'd buy you dinner first. Hopefully before you sewed my mouth shut. Depends how much you keep yapping. Nothing at all, Bull? No trouble having a Vint behind you? Hope you like the view. You can't deny you enjoy butchering my people. Hey, butchering implies I'm gonna eat them. Most Vints are just gristle and fat in a red wine marinade. Well, that much is true. No Canari would accept a Tevinta mage so easily, unless it was a ruse. When should I expect a knife in the back? You ever use that fancy magic of yours to burn down a dormitory full of kids? Uh, not today. <laughs> then I wouldn't worry. A lot of other people need a knife in the back first. Why is it always so cold? How do you southerners stand it? What's the matter? Not enough slaves around to rub your footsies. My footsies are freezing, thank you. You're doing all right, Dorian. I know family stuff can be rough. What would you know about it? True Canari don't have families. Finding out you don't fit in with the people who raised you. Having to walk away from everything you grew up with. Knowing you've disappointed the ones who loved you. I might know a bit. Takes a tough man to do it, too. So good on you, you big old fop. Yay, good on me. You've killed lots of my countrymen, I take it. Sure, usually when I'm being paid for it. What? Never just for fun? I'm here, aren't I? Man's gotta take his fun where he can find it. Think I know what your problem is, Dorian. I have only the one. You see a man who's burned out, who left his people and entire life behind. And for what? You're not suggesting we're similar. How's that mirror treating you? Pretty picture, isn't it? I may vomit. Wait, wait. I'll flex a little for you. Make it easier. That staff's in pretty good shape, Dorian. You spend a lot of time polishing it? Uh... So, how are you doing? Uh. I'm just saying, Dorian, you carry around this picture of the Canari in your mind. Like, you see us as this forbidden, terrible thing, and you're inclined to do the forbidden. I have no idea what you're talking about. All I'm saying is, you ever want to explore that, my door's always open. You are impossible. This is... Oh. Don't you ever bathe? Sometimes. You want to watch, don't you? I'd rather stand up wind. Human sweat smells like pork that's been sitting in the sun. Just saying. Watch where you're pointing that thing. Dirty. Shanta Kafas, I meant your weapon. So, Dorian, about last night. Uh, discretion isn't your thing, is it? Three times! Also, do you want those silky underthings back, or did you leave those like a token? Or, wait, did you forget them so you'd have an excuse to come back, you sly dog? If you choose to leave your door unlocked like a savage, I may or may not come. Speak for yourself. I will never understand why Kunari warriors spent half their time running around bare-chested. Thought you'd appreciate that. It's stupid. They should wear armor. You see a member of the Barasad in full armor, you run. Because it's war. They should wear armor all the time. Then they'd have to invade everyone. You're so bloodthirsty. <sighs> Better hike up your skirt, mage boy. I'm not wearing a skirt. You trip on that bustling or whatever, don't come crying to me. Hey, that elven redhead who makes the buns in the kitchen. Is she available? Because I'm getting sick. So, Dorian. Yep. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, we've been spending time together. 
You both deserve to find happiness. Thanks, boss. Torian's a sweet guy. He's gentle, and he cares under all that bluster. I'm hoping we're good for each other. Plus, I've never done it with a mage before. One time he got so excited he set the curtains on fire. <laughs> Questions, questions. What's going on between you and Iron Bull, exactly? <sighs> if only there were a single discreet bone in that lummox. Uh, do you truly want to know? Is this an official concern, or...? I'm asking you as your friend. How did I not know about this? I wouldn't want anyone to know about this. Just like I wouldn't want anyone to know I fancy Ferelden beer. Oh, the shame, Dorian. Well, it's something. A whole lot of something. At first, it was an ill-considered night after drinking. Then there was a second time. And then... I don't know what's going on, to be honest. I suspect neither does the bull. <laughs> now that I've said it out loud, my ancestors are officially turning over in their graves. Oh, well. I was passing through the hall this morning and a serving girl saw me and squealed. Actually squealed, dropped her laundry and everything. Such a mess. She was completely breathless. You were at the battle with the evil one, weren't you? I didn't even get a chance to answer. She hugged me. Hugged me. This is your image. Admit it, you're having a ball. <laughs> Don't trust camaraderie, all these people smiling, buying me drinks. It's unnatural. Mind you, I can't say I hate the notion of being the good to Vinter. I suppose you can't all be evil bastards. The blacksmith said that, and he spat when we first met. I hope my father hears. He will shit his small clothes from shock, I swear. You're an example of how noble Tavinta could be. For some of us, maybe. Back home, they'll be rolling their eyes behind their fans. Meanwhile, they'll conveniently forget the bastards who wanted Corypheus ruling us all. I've decided to stay with the Inquisition. For now. Would that have anything to do with the Iron Bowl? <laughs> it might. You know how it is. Plus, what would you do without me? How will I ever know unless you go? <laughs> Clever. See? I keep your wits sharp. As the most eloquent dwarf you know, Sparkles... Speech! Speech! Way too much speech. Varric, there's really no need. What's going on? Inquisitor! You're just in time. Sparkles, the Imperium doesn't deserve you. Or wants you. It, it may even kill you. But we'll miss you. If it counts. And you didn't know. Okay, folks. Time to take the party elsewhere. <laughs> Tommen never wanted any. I swear. Uh, leave him. It's true. When the Exalted Council has ended, I'm going back to Tavinta. For good, this time. You were going to sneak away, without even a goodbye? I was going to tell you. Not like this. And the party was Varric's idea. My father is dead. Assassinated, I believe. I received notice this morning. A perversely cheerful letter congratulating me on assuming his seat in the Magisterium. We only met a few times while I was home. 
He didn't say anything about keeping me as his heir. This ambassadorship, his doing, I'm told. He must have wanted me away when the trouble began. I have to go back. How does Bull feel about this? He wants to come with me. It can't happen, of course. A Canari cannot simply walk around the Imperium, even in a Magister's company. I don't want him hurt. He doesn't want me hurt. We're working it out. I can't believe it's been so long. Around two years. That's it? Two years? Sweet, merciful maker, it felt like ten. That could have been all the wine. Only thing back home I really missed. Things are going well with the bull, I take it? He's happy I've returned, if that's what you mean. I nearly crushed three of my ribs with that ridiculous hug. You say that as if you didn't like it. For such a great beast, he's a terrible sap. I want to talk about my feelings, Dorian. <laughs> <laughs> you do like it. Why, you? Get over here. And then where will I be? So, you and the Bard. You know most Bards are spies, right? You were a spy, Chief. <sighs> Look, I just don't want you to get... burned. Don't say it. Because then you'd be... <sighs> Creme brulee! <laughs> Creme brulee! <laughs> Graham, I understand you and Meriden are seeing each other. Ah, uh, yes, Your Worship. I mean, we've just started, so... Oh, come on. Get in there, show her what you can do. Listen, Chief, there's this thing you may not have learned growing up Canari and all. Hey, I'm great at foreplay. Maybe we should see what Dorian thinks. <laughs> we should absolutely see what Dorian thinks. I didn't mean foreplay, I meant courtship. Oh, well, that's a waste of time. You two are good, though, right? You need me to talk to her about... things? No! Uh, no, no. Thanks, though. We're good. Oh, this is gonna be fun. The old team together again to kick some ass. How about it, Katan? Ah, we're doing the names, are we? It's a title of honor, Katan. I need a drink. Do you want your Amatus to cheer you up? I could do some of those flexes you like. <laughs> Here we go again. What a change of pace from the Winter Palace. A clear sky, a beautiful view, and yes, fields and fields of stripweed as far as the eye can see. You bring your handkerchief? I'm not uh, allergic. You always say that, and a half hour later, you're taking that. Amatus, can you not fuss like an old. It's just. Aha! Let's move on, shall we? Uh, keep feeling like I'm gonna bang my horns on this crap. Are you at all concerned about fighting your people, Bull? I'm not Gunari anymore. Whatever they're doing, I'm ready to stop. So don't worry. Unless we run into peasants or Floating crap, magic mirror crap, evil demon crap. <sighs> when this is over, I'm gonna need somebody to hit me with a stick again. I'm not sure whether I want that to be a metaphor or not. Next time we get the gang back together, let's do a dragon instead. Dragons are fun. hand hurts. It's pulling you apart. No matter what happens, it has been my honor to fight beside each of you. We helped. All of us. I won't forget. Enjoy me while you can. I expect you'll all miss me terribly later. It's been an honor to kick asses beside you all. Anan. Inquisition! Nira Atasi Asara! Mirabas Adim Gada!
Hisrat, now, please! The Nekatas! Not a chance, ma'am. Never better, Kadan. I'm glad to hear it. Amatus. <laughs>